सरकार द्वारा सदन के समक्ष रखी गई इस अनुदान मांग को मैं समर्थन करता हूँ बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद जय हिंद धन्यवाद नेक्स्ट स्पीकर श्री लाव श्री कृष्णा थैंक यू सर थैंक यू फॉर एलो मी टू स्पीक ऑन डिमांड फॉर ग्रांट्स वेन वी थॉट द इकोनॉमी वॉज रिकवरिंग अगेन द ब्रेक्स वर पुट इन प्लेस बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट्स हैपनिंग इन ऑल द मेजर इकोनॉमीज अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड और मैनुफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर द ग्रोथ इज गोइंग बैक और सर्विस सेक्टर दे इज अूज जॉब लॉसेस नॉट जस्ट इन द बिलियन डॉलर वैल्यूएशन स्टार्टअप्स बट ऑल्सो इन द मेजर टेक कंपनीज लाइक टी सी एस एंड विप्रो एंड ऑल दिस कंपनीज एंड द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट अक्रॉस द कंट्री इज टचिंग ऑलमोस्ट टू एट परसेंट विच इज मोर देन एट परसेंट दे इज अ फीलिंग अक्रॉस द कंट्री वॉट्स कीपिंग द यूथ बिजी इज द चीप डेटा दैट इज अवेलेबल अंडर दीज सर्कमस्टेंसेस I commend the finance minister and the union government for undertaking the welfare oriented measures to push for the upliftment of the citizens of this country sir almost 25% of the allocation in this demand for grants has been allocated towards the fertilizer subsidy sir please this will ease the financial pressure faced Honorable by the members, farming community please please but there are two the figures back. that do not Saudari sit well please please but there are two figures that do not sit well when government is talking of atmanirbhar bharat sir one fourth of the allocated funds for the fertilizer is for the imported fertilizer sir domestic produ production of fertilizer was 36.2 lakh tons much lower than the target of 41.5 lakh tons in october sir this issue needs to be given serious thought if you are talking about atmanirbhar bharat sir government is looking towards commercialization of explo and exploiting of production of phosphate de de deposits sir government should look to kadapa basin in andhra pradesh which has huge huge deposits sir another 60000 crores is allocated towards food subsidy sir pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana has been recently extended until december 2022 sir given the inflation and food grain shortage it is wise to it is wise to extend it further sir narega has been allocated another 16400 crores but it still falls short of last year's expect expenditure by 8600 crores maybe they will cover it in the next demand for grants andhra pradesh was allocated only 14 crore mandates sir which was reduced to 9, 9.68 crore mandates this comes on back of ap specifically requesting for 26 crore mandates in review meeting that has held in early 2022 sir before the budget was announced coming to the fiscal deficit now the government is asking for additional expenditure of 3.26 lakh crore sir this will definitely push the central fiscal deficit to exceed the budget target of 6.4% by around 80000 to 1 lakh crore sir center has many times schooled states for exceeding their fiscal deficit it's time center to lead either by example or understand the state's concerns and increase the borrowing limit sir 9951 crores has been given as gst compensation to the states it's very much appreciable sir but center's revenue from cesses and sur sur surcharges has raised from 10.4% in 2011 to 26.7% in 2122 sir to strengthen the federal structure either extend the gst compensation by 5 years or share the such such charges with the state sir because pmgsy jjm and land acquisition cost that has to be incurred by the states towards the roads and railways has to come from the states sir unless uh, if these projects has to go forward and if state want if central government wants states to do to take this forward this cess and such charges has to be shared with the state governments otherwise states like andhra pradesh no projects can go forward sir in 22 23 budget it's all about capex expenditure sir minister has talked about capex expenditure we all members have talked about capex expenditure and everyone said it's a silver bullet for all the problems that is there in this country sir government has a ambitious cap capex target of 7.5 lakh crore 
It was 24% higher than previous year, sir. But CAG data indicates that between April and October 2022, expenditure was around 4 lakh crores. It was almost close to 50%, sir. Under the supplementary demand for grants, CAPEX has been augmented by 31,000 crores, indicating that close to 60% of the target will be achieved. Government may say CAPEX, CAPEX happens only when states come together, projects are identified, land allocation from the state side is done, and various other reasons, sir. Let me give you various avenues that are available in Andhra Pradesh, various projects that are allocated to Andhra Pradesh, which are looking for CAPEX spending from the union government, sir. There are seven projects that are waiting from them, sir. Avenue 1, Polavaram project, sir. It was lifeline of Andhra Pradesh. It's, it was supposed to solve drinking and irrigation pro problems of many districts of Andhra Pradesh and lakhs of acres in Andhra Pradesh, sir. It was adjudged as a national project as well in Bifurcation Act, sir. But there are so many issues that are pending with the union government, sir. Pending investment clearance for the revised cost estimate to the tune of 55,000 crores is still pending with the union government. Funding for drinking water company well, uh, drinking water is to the tune of 4,000 crores is still pending with the union government. Remove, removal of component-wise restriction. We have been representing it to the union government too many times. An expenditure of 2,000 crores has been re rejected because of that. It is still pending with the union government. R&R package, resettlement and rehabilitation package, it's still pending with the union government. We have been uh, making so many requests with the, uh, with the government. It's not been happening. The left side of the project, to the tune of almost 40,000 acres, r and package has not been initiated from the union government. If union government is so serious about CAPEX, this, this is a project that they should really, really look into, sir. Avenue number two, educational institutions, sir. There were so many educational institutions that was promised for Andhra Pradesh after the state has been divided. IIT, IIM, IS, ISR, NIT, Central University, Petroleum University, Agri University, Triple IIT, Tribal University, and AIMS, except AIMS. Now, not the institutions that I have mentioned are running from a own campus, sir. Still, all of them are running from a rented premises, sir. This is the capex that the union government should be looking at. Example, I give you. A central university was allocated 56 crores in 22-23 budget, sir. When, we asked, when, when, when the actual ask was for 1,500 crores, they've allocated 50, 53 crores. That is enough for salaries, not for building a campus, sir. Land has been given to that. We are waiting for the capex to be spent on that. And third one, Third Avenue, sir, there was in that last budget, Finance Minister has mentioned about interlinking of Godavari and Penna. Godavari and Penna interlinking will solve many pro problems, irrigation problems, drinking water problems in Andhra Pradesh because Godavari Basin has excess amount of water that is available, about 250 DMC, sir. And that was announced in the la last budget and that has been mentioned as one of the CAPEX projects, sir. But nothing has been happened in the last eight months. No, not, nothing has been discussed, no DPRs, nothing has been forwarded in that direction, sir. And avenue number four, just two, three minutes, sir. Avenue number four, with regards to the health infra, sir. Andhra Pradesh with a population of 5.2 crores. We had only 13 districts when the, uh, when the YSR Congress party and YS Jagan Mohan Redigar became CM in 2019, sir. After he became CM, he realized decentralization of administration is the way forward. That's why he created each parliament as one district. And the first thing that we have identified in each district was the lacuna with regards to the healthcare and education, sir. When we realized that we have proposed for 17 medical colleges, sir, we, propose, we forward that proposal with, to the union government. Three have been agreed. Yes, one is in my constituency, which is being supported by the union no, government, please. but that's not last please. one, which, that, that, but that is not the case. The another 14 are still in the pipeline, sir. The same thing with the road projects as well, sir. There's so many announcements that have been, been made with the road, road projects, sir. Works of 150,000 crores are under implementation, sir. Another 48,000 crores have been, uh, has been uh, awarded, sir. So when these are going to see the light of the days, unless the capex has been spent, sir. And uh, railway projects, last two points, sir. Railway projects have been sanctioned to the tune of 9,000 crores, sir, for the year 22-23. When they sanctioned it, we mentioned it, sir. Are you going to spend this amount or not? As we, as, we, as, we, as we are seeing, it's not being spent, sir, because the reason they are giving is let the state give the land, then we'll spend uh, with regards to the new lines, sir. sir these, all these agreements were made before the bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh. We are ready to re renegotiate. Thank, the revenues thank of you, the, Sir, last one, one point, sir, last one point, special 
these all the, all these uh, all these were made before 2014, sir. So we are we are asking to renegotiate, re renegotiate, sir, so that these projects can be taken forward, sir. Last and final one, sir, with regards to the last one, with regards to the special category status, sir. There's no many, denying. How many total last points? Last points, sir. This is the last one, sir. There is no denying bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh was done in an unscientific manner, sir. Not only we lost our capital in Hyderabad, which was a major revenue source to Telangana, sir, but also inherited higher debts and liabilities, sir. Andhra Thank was you. left with 45% revenues and 50% revenues, To overcome these challenges, Andhra was promised special... One second. One second. Can we... Policies may change, sir, but the promises should never be forgotten, sir. We believe the government is a continuous process, sir. As a special category status is Andhra, Andhra, right of Andhra people. Keep raising that. We demand for that. We fight for that. I Hanuman Benivalji, please. Much,